I'm Aaron Glantz, a senior reporter here at Reveal. And I'm Emmanuel Martinez, a data reporter. We wanted to know why the home ownership gap between blacks and whites is greater now than it was during the Jim Crow era. To answer that question, we combed through millions of mortgage records. We found that people of color continue to be denied conventional mortgages at rates far greater than white applicants. Our investigation took us to Philadelphia where whites received 10 times as many home loans as African Americans in 2015 and 2016. You know, black people in this country have to be twice as good to get half as much. And I couldn't even get half. Rochelle looked like a great applicant. She had a great job at an Ivy League institution, a good credit score, and savings. But two different lenders said no. What happened next made her a remarkable subject of our investigation. As soon as she asked her girlfriend, who's half white and half Japanese, to come on as a co-borrower, the bank said yes right away, even though her girlfriend's financial history was less than stellar. Oh yeah, it was terrible. Oh my God, it was so bad. It was terrible, I was borrowing money for my sister. Rochelle paid my health insurance at one point because I didn't have enough money to pay it. Her most recent paycheck was just $162. Hanako and Rochelle's story wasn't unique. I spent a year looking at nearly 31 million mortgage records. I used a statistical technique called a binary logistic regression to look at the relationship between race and ethnicity and being denied a mortgage. In 61 metros, race played a role. People of color were more likely to be denied conventional mortgages than their white counterparts. Even when they made the same amount of money, tried to take out the same size loan, and buy in the same neighborhood. We created an interactive map that allows you to enter any address and see who's getting loans in that neighborhood and who's not. You can also look at your bank to see if they lend to people of color. The story had a huge impact. Attorneys General in five states and the District of Columbia have launched investigations. Bills have been introduced at the state level and in Washington. Lending discrimination is real. A new comprehensive report that looked at housing markets all across the country just came out from the Center for Investigative Reporting and Reveal. And its findings should make us all sick to our stomachs. We're staying on the story and we won't give up.